Speaker, Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Speaker, last month, the uh, London Health Science Centre announced that the Cardiac Fitness Institute will close this spring. It was established in 1981. The CFI provides rehabilitation and fitness education for patients who have suffered from serious heart problems. It serves roughly 1,600 people a year. It only costs about $150,000, and a hospital cited the reason for its closure as a funding environment that has become increasingly challenging, resulting in their inability to fund the program further. You need to look no further than to see how this government has damaged our health care system in Ontario. Speaker, my question is to the Minister. Do you agree with removing this important service from serious cardiac health care? Good question. Thank you. And Mr. Health, long -term care. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, of course, uh, fundamentally, our government is absolutely committed to ensuring that Ontarians receive the highest quality evidence-based care. And we know, uh, uh, and I understand, and we're monitoring closely, that the London Health Sciences Centre has taken a de decision, uh, a decision that is based uh, on, uh, as they say, uh, uh, the best evidence with regards to post-cardiac incident care. Uh, and they've made a decision that as of the end of March, they will no longer be accepting at that particular site, uh, will no longer be a, a, a accepting uh, cardiac patients that have had a cardiac event. But Mr. Speaker, uh, despite making that decision to end further patient referrals, referrals which amounted to uh, under 10 per month, uh, that we're confident, and London Health Sciences uh, is currently working with St. Joe's, Answer. that the patients currently going to uh, London Health Sciences will uh, continue to receive their full evidence-based cardiac re rehabilitation care through that program at St. Joseph's in London, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Of note, though, uh, back to the Minister, the St. Joe's program kicks the patients out after six months, uh, which really doesn't rely on the, the information that's available from Britain, which shows the, the advantage of continuing this program at LHSC. Mr. Speaker, through underfunding over the years, this government has caused many programs throughout the system to become defunct. Through years of their failed uh, funding of the hospital system, patients aren't getting the resources they need. Backed by scientific evidence, the preventative care provided by the CFI has shown to both reduce the number of readmittance due to heart problems, as well as saving the health care millions of dollars. These services are available in Windsor, Toronto and Ottawa, but no longer in London after March. Speaker, will the minister, considering how low cost this program is, how many lives it positively impacts, will the minister commit to funding this program here, here. further? Thank you. Thank you. But Mr. Speaker, I know as, as a fellow health care professional, the member opposite appreciates and I would hope agrees that we need to allow our frontline health care providers, our physicians, uh, the entire complement to make the best decisions based on evidence and quality of care. And in fact, after March 18th, all of those patients enrolled in London through their cardiac rehab uh, program will continue to receive, as they do in the entire rest of the province, six months of post-cardiac care. I don't know if the member opposite is suggesting that we should create a system which is unbalanced, inequitable for a small minority, which runs contrary to the best evidence that exists. And the evidence, by the way, endorsed by Cardiac Care Ontario and present through the entire cardiac system in this province. Wow. Thank you. New question.